So everyone's aware of ChatGPT and all the things that that's been amazing for over the past year or so. But um, one of the things that I'm sure everybody is kind of used to seeing, anybody that's used ChatGPT for a while can recognize ChatGPT or lazy ChatGPT content production or content writing uh, a mile away. It always formats everything in the same in the same way. It uses kind of the same terms of phrase. Um, and it's quite hard to get something that sounds human out of ChatGPT. Today, I want to talk about Claude. So I've just been using, I just started using Claude um, about a week ago. And I find that the output that it gives us is so much better than ChatGPT. Now, you still need to... Um, Give the give the, use the tool in the right way. You need to give it some context in terms to in to get the right output. But I just wanted to walk through my process today, and I'm just going to give an example. So yesterday I recorded a video update on Natural and the um the direction that I'm taking Natural in moving forward. And today I'm going to show you how I took that video and then turned it into a newsletter for Natural Progressions. Um. And oh my God, it was so much better than ChatGPT to use. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend this. And hopefully this will give you some ideas on how you might be able to use this for yourself. So um, first off, if you come to Claude uh, 3.5 here, so you've got Claude.ai, sign up for the plan. You, the way that I'm going to show you how to use it, you do need the professional plan because here in Claude, we've got this projects section. Um, so you see, I'm pretty fresh with this. Um, but I'm just going to open up so you can click on here to create a project and then you can name the project and you can describe what you're trying to achieve with the project as well. Um, so I'm just going to drop into this newsletter project here. So what I did is, uh, as you can see on the right hand side, there is a project knowledge section, which is essentially where you can upload text. I think you can upload images and video as well. I might be wrong there, but you can upload a bunch of files into the project knowledge. And from there, uh, excuse me, itchy eye, hey, hay fever. So um, yeah, in the project knowledge section, you can upload a bunch of content that can be referenced with the chats that you have with inside the project. Um, so what I did was I went to uh, my Substack and I pulled through all of the um, episodes, or episodes, uh, all of the editions of Natural Progressions that I've written so far. Uh, and these are varying, like they're, they're varying topics and they, they range in terms of the length and, and they're, not, they're not very consistent. I've been trying to find my footing with the newsletter and my writing style over the course of the last six to 12, six to 12 months. Um, so I loaded 10 editions in and the main reason that I just loaded them, I just copy and pasted the text in. So I came to add content. I said, add text content. I put it edition one, and then I just copied the content in. So really simple. Um, and I just wanted it to understand my tone of voice, my style of writing, because I tend to write in a very sort of natural and uh, conversational style rather than a very professional and rigid style. Um, so I uploaded all of those into the project knowledge. And then from there, yesterday on my YouTube channel, I up uploaded a new video where I gave a business update, what I'm doing with natural moving forward and the new direction that we're going in um, as I aim to turn it from just a design agency into a customer journey optimization agency that, you know, that really leans into design um, design systems and optimization for, for B2B companies to grow. Um, so I went through all that yesterday in yesterday's video. Then what I did is I, after I'd uploaded the video, I grabbed the transcript and then I came into Claude here and you can see that I pasted the transcript in. I said, I've just recorded a video update that I want to turn into a new newsletter edition, use my previous editions to understand my tone and writing style. I've attached the transcript. And then I also asked it for some feedback as well on, on the newsletter so far. And what it, what it, the output here, what it gave me was so much, so much of my style of writing anyway, that it was hard. There was hardly any editing that was needed uh, because it totally understood how I was able or how I write based off of all these previous editions that I've added in here. So it's literally saved me, I would say at least an hour or two yesterday of writing a new um, newsletter 
because sometimes it does take me a long time to write newsletters. I'm, I'm still finding my feet with writing. So I'm well, with writing that kind of uh, content anyway. So yeah, this saved me at least a couple of hours yesterday. And this process is uh, something that I will use moving forward. I can, I can, it, it, Claude seems to understand the tone. It seems to understand the human conversational style of writing a lot better. And it's less rigid and, you know, it doesn't use all the same um, chat GPTisms that we might be used to with chat GPT. So anyway, I just wanted to drop this video and show you my process. Um, I'll be using this moving forward and I'll iterate on it and imp improve it, no doubt. But so far, I'm really impressed with Claude and mainly this projects feature. Um, you can use this for so many different things. Uh, I've been working on a project with Anita Chauhan to help with her personal brand. We're, we're doing an improvement and an overhaul of her um, personal brand. And I've set up a project in here to just house all of the content and everything that we've discussed. And it helps me think through things a lot better. You can just chat with the content that's being produced. Um, as, as part of the client um, the client process, right? So as I've been working with Anita, just to give another example, on her discovery process, finding out more about her, the, the services and the positioning that she, she wants to present, I've been able to upload all of that into a project and then work with that project to output some really amazing ideas, questions, and content ideas for moving forward. And again, obviously AI will only get us I would say like 80 to 90% of the way there with, with Claude, especially. I think it was even, it was way less than that with ChatGPT for me. But you still need that human touch over the end. You need to make sure everything's still right. So this isn't just a hands-off, like, hey, just paste this and it's hands-off. Um, but I would highly recommend checking out Claude if you haven't done so already. It is far superior than ChatGPT for content production if you treat it the right way and you give it context and you make use of the projects and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, hope that was useful. See you in the next one.